My darling, has the pain finally stopped? Very good. Your transformation took up an unusually long amount of time. I was beginning to think I might have made a mistake with the ritual. I'm glad to see it has worked after all. Though I'm terribly sorry for the prolonged torment you had to go through. How do you feel? Ah, no, my love, don't try to get up yet. Just keep lying down for a little bit longer. Your body has gone through a lot during the past hours. It wouldn't be wise to ask too much of it right now. Don't worry, darling. I am here for you. I'll take care of you. For as long as it takes. After all, now that you've joined the children of the night, We've got all eternity to ourselves. How does your body feel, my love? Are your muscles sore? I was feeling the same when I turned oh so many centuries ago. We may be more resistant to pain, but having every muscle torn apart cell by cell is... enough to cause anyone to scream in agony. Fortunately, the pain is temporary. After your body is fully healed, You'll feel stronger than ever before. Powerful. Untouchable. Our strength is superior to that of mortals in every regard. Don't worry, though. Rest easy, my dear. I'll be there every step of the way to make sure your newfound strength won't go to your head. It is a common pitfall of the newly turned to go on a rampage and end up doing things they'll regret for all eternity. Unfortunately, I am no exception. All aspects of a machine made to kill, united in one's very own body. Senses heightened like never before. The physical strength, eventually joined by the psychic abilities. It all combines into an overwhelming feeling of might, only amplified by a never-ending thirst. I... I'll take great care that you won't develop the same blinding red veil which I once fell victim to. You have nothing to worry about, my darling. I promise. The only blood which will ever touch those perfect lips will be obtained in a way that won't weigh so heavily upon your soul. Your tale won't be one of rage and murder. Your conscience won't be broken by the sins of your youth. For as long as I live, I will make sure of it. That's right, my love. Forever. Oh, you've bitten your lip. Careful with your new teeth, dearest. Here, let me kiss the blood off of your face. Show me those gorgeous fangs, darling. Ah, they're perfect. Sharp enough to cut my skin if I were to run my finger across them. You were beautiful as a mortal, but now... I didn't know perfection could be improved upon. I want to thank you, my love. You've gifted me the greatest sacrifice. You've given up your mortality simply to be with me. And for that I will be forever grateful. I told you time and time again how arduous the life of a vampire will be. How much time it will take for you to adjust. All the hardships that will be coming your way. And yet you decided that it will all be worth it. I'll make sure you won't ever come to regret this decision. I don't know what I would have done if I ever had to carry you to your grave. I've never loved anyone as much as I love you, and... Seeing you wither away while I have to stay exactly as I am for all eternity... It would have broken me, darling. It would have taken away the sanity that I've worked so hard to retain throughout all these centuries. I have tried my best not to show these feelings to you before, since I did not want to influence your decision. There would be no use in turning you if it wasn't truly your own wish. 
That said, I am honoured that you shed so much trust in me as to let me make such grave alterations to your life. In turn, what do you say we give those new teeth of yours a taste of what's to come? I'm sure you must be feeling the hunger by now, now that the pain has faded. As you know, it is customary that the first taste of blood a newly turned receives stems from the very vampire that turned them in the first place. Are you ready to celebrate this ritual with me? Don't worry, love. You won't hurt me. I'm immortal. Besides, my seniority over you means I could easily subdue you if you were to be overcome by bloodlust. I doubt that will happen, though. The blood of mortals will surely be more to your taste than mine. But this ritual is not celebrated simply for tradition's sake, either. In drinking my blood, you will gain some of the strength I have amassed over centuries. Its unique components will help bring back some life to your exhausted body. Here, let me help you sit up. I'll be sitting right next to you, my dear. Slowly, slowly. Don't strain yourself. There you go. Now, you may not know how to go about your first meal. There is no need to be afraid, my love. Once your instincts take over, you'll do just as well as any vampire who has lived for thousands of years. It's not the biting that's difficult. It's stopping. Here, let me bear my neck to you. Whenever you're ready, feel free to take a bite. My love, why are you hesitating? Are you still afraid? Don't be. It will all be well. If you wish, I can help you let those instincts take over. Would that be to your liking? Very well, my dearest. Open your mouth. I'll simply pierce the skin of my thumb on your fang. There, love. Now touch the blood with your tongue. Uh, easy, easy. <laughs> so sharp I barely felt a thing. That's right. Drink up, my love. Just like that. 